What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel where I help you out in Fallout 4. In this video I'll be showing you how to start the Automatron DLC. The only requirement for this DLC is that you have it installed and that your character has reached level 15. If your character is over level 15 then it works the exact same way. Just save the game and resume and you will see that the mechanical menace quest begins in the corner of your screen and it will tell you to listen to a caravan distress call. So all you need to do is go to your pit boy, find the distress call, it's in the radio signal section. This is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots and needs some serious Boom, help. Says. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Ada, loop this nice message. Dog. And that gives us the location. This is an emergency Sounds like a broadcast. massive war's going on. My god, look at all these lighting effects. There's actually a legendary new enemy here. Pretty fair, not gonna lie. I'm glad I brought my Gus Rifle, because this is Reckoner. If you want to grab this Gus Rifle before you start the DLC, I'll leave a link in the description on where you can get one for free. Look how sick it looks! Oh, there's three of them! At least only one of them's legendary. Let's get rid of this one first. I don't know where it's weak point is or what. Let's see. We can shoot it in the head. And we'll go for a crit. Did they, that even do any damage? I think I missed. It looks so weird. Trying to kill this legendary one first because it's actually doing quite a lot of damage. There we go. Just two more to take out. That must be the friendly robot there because he doesn't have a marker above her head. Take out this last one in fact. Boom! That looked awesome. So now we've killed all the robots, let's talk to Ada. Oh no, we haven't killed them all. Whoa, what the hell is this guy? <laughs> what? What was that? Was that a car? Yeah, I think it was a car. I thought that, that tiny little robot fired a huge missile at me. Hello, Ada. My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor. But I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. I don't know why the graphics is so pixelated on Mac settings, but um, no trouble. Let's ask her what she is. What kind of robot are you? I am heavily modified, but at my core, I am an Assaultron. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Tell me about the robots. Tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them fighting raiders, but they've also attacked innocents, settlers, merchants, and caravans like ours. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. Why stay? So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. True story. You paid the price, didn't you? Well, you certainly paid that price. Your apathy only increases my feelings of responsibility. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. 
Da -na 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 -na, robots of justice! Dangerous undertaking. But let's ask what the mechanist actually is. Who's the mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. I ask your assistance in stopping this mechanist. A dangerous mind should not control such power. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench. So you have additional resources in this undertaking. Don't you want revenge? You want revenge, don't you? I admit my goal is twofold. Stopping the mechanist both protects the Commonwealth and allows me to avenge my fallen friends. I won't rest until I see this threat dissolved. I owe it to them. Now, we last saw a group of the mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. Uh, and we're going to send Dogmeat to Sanctuary Hill so he cannot continue with us on this journey. Confirm. And let's have a quick look now. We've completed that quest. This is Jackson, and Jackson's got a holotape, which is going to have some lore on, so we're definitely going to have a listen to that. Turn off the radio and. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. No, don't worry, I'm taking everything. All these robots seem to be loaded. This is the other lady, Zoe, and we can take her diary. Oh, I didn't want to move her body there. Just defile her corpse casually. Uh, let's have a look what she's got. Got some new, cloth new clothing as well, which is quite interesting. Hmm. There's an iBot here. And that's got the Mechanist holotape, so there's lots of lore to listen to here, guys. And a laser rifle, some ammo. Anything else useful? Oh, I'm just going to have so much fun with energy weapons in this DLC, I can tell. Oh, okay, Incinery 44 pistol. That's actually not bad. 115 damage um, and 15 points of extra fire damage. Don't think it's going to be great against robots, but I can also robot repair kit. That's interesting. Robot repair kit, robot companions down in combat. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I'm so excited now. Right, so we have to go. over here. But before we go over here, we're going to listen to the holotapes. You can actually skip the lore if you like, just be sure to check out the channel for some unique weapon guides you can find in this DLC, and I'll leave some useful links for you in the description if you're not interested in this part. Jackson's holotape. Let's have a listen. We ran into some hostile robots today. They were pieced together, like the ones we've been making in that workbench. Weird thing is, one of them was spouting something about the Mechanist. That they're here to protect the Commonwealth. Yeah, protected my ass. We managed to lose them. Those things were dangerous. Shades and I went back and picked up an arm we shot off. Whoever's making these things is an expert. Maybe even be on my level. I'll have to look into upgrading Ada and Hertz for some better protection. Right, let's have a look at the diary. Ramblings. Oh, let's read the title first. Warning: If your name is not Zoe and you're not and you are reading this, then you are dead. Okay, great. Well, she's dead, so I don't have to worry. So I decided to start keeping a diary in this little holiday. I thought it would be cool to only update it at different terminals, kind of like my own little collection. Although half the time I have no idea where we are. Navigation's not really my thing. I leave that up to the bots. Today we stopped by this decent looking salvage yard. It's impressively not gross and overrun with ferals, like the last one. Lisa helped me fix up this terminal so I could get down to business. Anyway, I think Ada and I got some pretty good defenses set up for her now. We've got enough sub we have enough supplies for a bit, so I imagine we'll give this place a pretty good once over. I really need to find some good things to trade off if I want a new pair of gloves anytime soon. Uh, let's have a look at Raiders are dumb. 
Raiders are dumb. I'd like to think that people like us are safe based just on their stupidity alone. They tried to steal something off Porter last night. A goddamn luggage-toting sentry bot. Porter wasted two of them. Another one set off a tripwire while running away. And the last one, we think, tripped and just impaled himself on his own knife. <laughs> that's, why they, that's why you don't run with sharp objects. <laughs> of course, waking up to gunfire isn't very cool either. I just think it's time we moved on. Okay, so who protects the Protectron? We found this pretty cool factory with some decent Protectron parts. So Jackson is all hell-bent on making us little bodyguard robots. He's been working on it with shades all day. I'm thinking of naming it Hurt. I can't wait. I love Protectrons. Protect and serve. Oh, and totally authorised to use Defence Force 24-7. In the meantime, Ada and I set up usual defences, and she helped me dig around for fuses and stuff. Not that I'm lazy but robots are the best when you don't do any heavy lifting or feel like carrying stuff around. That's quite interesting, so she's talking about setting up defences, I wonder if that's a new thing. Seriously? So here we are at this rundown mum and pop repair store when we find this trader hiding in the closet. He said he thought we might be raiders and just hid there for an entire day and night. And yeah, it's as gross as you might think because closets don't have toilets, or toilet paper for that matter. Anyway, he said we're pretty near this area called the Commonwealth that we might want to check out. Said it's got a few decent parts for trading as well as an old General Atomics factory. I think Jackson's all excited at the idea of upgrading tiring. That old Mr. Handy has seen better days. Um, shopping spree, so this might be when they reach the Commonwealth. You're not going to believe it, but we stopped in a department store and it's like a dream come true. I already found some new gloves and boots, not to mention a pair of sunglasses that will make Shado me huge favours. I don't know what she means by that. I'm pretty sure I can get him to take my night watches for at least a week to get these babies. I'm guessing Shades is called that as a nickname because he likes sunglasses. Turning has the rest of the route chartered to the Commonwealth. We also heard there's a place there called Diamond City, but yeah, not what you think. Apparently it's some sort of old timey sports stadium. Could be fun though. It'd be nice to check in with another large settlement soon. Okay, so that was quite eye-opening to what these adventurers were doing. Now I just need to find the mechanist. Mechanist holotape. Let's have a listen, Attention, people of the Commonwealth. I, the mechanist, have come to bring about an age of peace. Do not be alarmed. These robots are your allies your protectors, and they will not rest until the Commonwealth is saved. Together, we will restore justice and bring about the dawn of a new age. Interesting. So now we know the whole story. Let's get into this DLC. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, check out the description for the next part, and you can also subscribe to the channel to stay up to date, and I will see you in the next Fallout 4 guide. Goodbye! And enjoy the DLC!